Yes, welcome to my FB Live today, Wednesday, December 1. You know, uh, today is one of the va national vaccine days and the Department of Health has just sent us our vaccine. I got vaccinated last Monday and I, I just didn't have very good reactions to the vaccine. You know, unfortunately, these vaccines, they protect against COVID-19 and not for asthma. You, do you know that there is a way to defend yourself against asthma and it's vaccines are not one of them at the moment. If you want to know more, uh, please type I want and I'll send you invites to my talk on December 11. December 11, by the way, is my last talk for the year. So I do hope you guys can attend that one. It's going to be a very interesting program made just for you. So today's program is also very interesting and I'm going to be talking about vaccines. Well, everybody's talking about it. In fact, everyone is talking about it because the last three days is been called the National Vaccine Day. And today actually is the last day. So they've been like having vaccinations all over the Philippines and also uh, not just vaccines, but uh, the booster shots have been given. So like I had my booster shot. I, I Well, anyway, I, these are controversial things and um, the problem is my reaction wasn't very good and uh, I suffered from a lot of different uh, side effects right after. Well, I don't even want to call it side effects because either it's effects of the vaccine, which included stuff like fever. I had fever. I was chilling all, all day, all night. You know, I, I was feeling very good. Uh, I had body pains all over behind my eyes and my muscles, my joint pain, you know, and I was also suffering from... Uh, from fatigue you know i had a meeting monday night and everyone was telling me during the meeting hey charles you look so so tired and i said i didn't even do anything i just had the vaccine i i, I just looked so tired i looked at myself in the mirror uh, in the in the app and i said yeah i do look really tired don't i <laughs> but uh, these, are, these are some of the problems we we do get from vaccines and this is also something that you do tend to uh, feel like you actually have the viral illness itself and just by demonstrating that these are some of the effects you can have right after vaccine it also demonstrates that the symptoms that you have when you have a viral infection is not necessarily caused by a virus yeah the body pains the fever and even the fatigue is not caused by the fever because even the vaccine can produce the same symptoms and the vaccine vaccine doesn't have a uh, a virus that can that can cause you harm so it's not caused by the virus instead what causes these symptoms are your body's response to the foreign uh, item that goes in your body so whether it be a uh, virus a bacteria or uh, or an, an uh, inanimate object your body may respond in this manner which causes you your fever which causes you your uh, your body pains and all these things now so right now uh, I'd like to invite you to my talk on December 11, December 11, 8.30 p.m. So please type I want to get invites below and we'll talk to you all about uh, how you could prevent asthma, uh, the best defense against asthma. And this thing is completely natural, no, nothing to be injected and nothing, uh, nothing to be inhaled, this type of protection. It's very good actually. So this uh, concept that your body responds to a foreign item or something around it and then it causes you your symptoms also happens in asthma so in asthma for instance when you get uh, in asthma for instance you have here your your airways no? and here illustrated in my chart you have the airways and the airways they uh, they become inflamed and because of the inflammation the airway in in the side becomes narrower and it becomes harder for you to breathe it also causes a lot of mucus production no and this is all your body's response to triggers so this is why triggers such as uh, such as cold weather such as really cold weather and such as exercise can cause asthma and a lot of people say, Doc, I'm having asthma because it's cold. You know, whenever there's cold weather, I get asthma. When in reality, in cold weather, nothing even entered your body. People say, Oh, Doc, when I exercise, I get asthma, so I, I cannot exercise. But in reality, when you exercise, nothing enters your body. What causes your asthma in these particular aspects? Western medicine says we don't know, and they just call it non specific triggers of asthma. However, this phenomenon was. Uh, studied in that by a Russian doctor called uh, named Doctor Buteko, and the 19 way back in the 1960s, way way back in the space age wars, uh, space race, and uh, he was part of the Russian team of doctors who were sending uh, cosmonauts to 
to outer space. And what they found was that during an asthma attack, and right before the asthma attack, there is a change of the breathing pattern. The, the pattern of somebody with asthma is already more stressed compared to somebody who doesn't have asthma. And when, there is a, uh, b b when they get exposed to these triggers, the breathing becomes deeper, stronger, or sometimes faster. Now, even when the person tries to relax, how does this person relax? It sits back like this, takes a deep breath, <gasps> or, or it goes in front of an electric fan and <gasps> takes a deep breath like this. So the breathing is not relaxed. It becomes more stressed even when this person tries to relax it out, it becomes even more stressed. And so these breathing changes triggers a biochemical change uh, within your body, which can cause your asthma attack. So Dr. Buteyko found a way to reverse this, and this technique, this method, has been called the Buteyko method, which I teach in my breathing camp today. So the breathing camp is one of the best ways to learn it. It's a, te it's a program that's been tested in many different uh, countries worldwide and uh, it's also taught now online so you don't even have to leave your house when learning it. In the Biteco method, in the breathing camp, I will teach you how to listen to your body to be able to respond to the changes in your body using your breathing and this way it can protect you from asthma. I sincerely believe the Biteco method is an ideal way to protect you from asthma. That's why I continuously teach this to everybody. You know, uh, I used to have asthma. I used to have all these medicines. I mastered these medicines and the Biteco method has helped me uh, become drug free and have no asthma and the other symptoms that come along with asthma have disappeared as well. So again, your best defense against asthma is not a vaccine. It's the Biteco method and I want you to know, get to know more about it. I'm giving a free lecture on December 11, 8.30 p.m. Type I want down below the comment section and I will give you free invites to my talk. So I'll see you then and uh, enjoy your day.